Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be a declutter video. These are some items that I'm taking out of my inventory because they are old, expired, dried up, whatever the case may be. They are going in the trash. They're items that I can't um, sell or pass along. So without further ado, let's get started. First I have this perfume and this is a perfume that was purchased at a clothing store called Kato's here in the south. I don't know if it's, I know it's here in Oklahoma, I'm not for sure where else, but anyway, they sell perfumes, it's a generic, it's a knockoff for the Calvin Klein, um, it's not Calvin Klein, Ralph Lauren, La Ralph Lauren. Um, romance. Anyway, it smells like alcohol. It's bad. It was only six dollars, so we're going to get rid of that. Then I have this item here. This was a two-part peel from Philosophy, the oxygen peel. This was purchased from um, QVC, and it came with these little caplets that you open the caplets and put into some warm water, shake it, put it all over your face. It created a gel. And then you put this, the foam, on over it, and this would start foaming, and then you would wipe it away, and it would exfoliate and do a peel, a gentle at-home peel. Anyway, this is completely dried up, um, did not finish it, going to get rid of it, and I hate that because the stuff is expensive. You probably have seen it at Sephora and different places, and it's not cheap, so I hate that that got wasted. Next I have an item from Cargo and this is the Tucson eyeshadow and it is all crumbled up and I had a blush that was all crumbled up and I tried to repress it and it just didn't perform the same so I'm going to go ahead and just toss this out. Um, I'm not even going to try to repress it, just getting rid of it. That is that. Then this, whoop! <laughs> oh, let me get it. This right here is not an old item. I purchased it from Sephora back during the holidays, I think. Anyway, it's one of their Rouge Infusion lip products. And this stuff chaps my lips like nobody's business. It's supposed to be comparable to the YSL those lip oils but I just can't do it I am going to get rid of it I'm not even going to keep it there it is no I did not like it at all and so I am getting rid of that another product that I'm getting rid of of course this is a declutter video this is the makeup forever la 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 liquid lipstick in the color number Two, and I'm pretty sure that it only has a number on it. It doesn't have an actual color. Anyway, I've had this for a really long time. It's starting to break up. You can see, I mean, I've used it a lot, and it's getting really kind of goopy, and the smell is kind of going off on it, so we're going to be getting rid of that, but I really do. What I like the best about these Makeup Forever um, liquid lipsticks is the smell of them. They smell like a a powdery perfume and I love the smell of that so anyway let me get rid of that then I have some of these wet n wild mega blast what are these wet n wild mega blast liquid lip colors and again these are starting to go bad on me I've had them for a long time and they're starting to separate. I don't know if you can tell right there how they're starting to separate and the color is starting to separate from the oil that's in there. So we're gonna be getting rid of those. Then I have a Kat Von D liquid lipstick that's doing the same thing where it's just a lot of times and it's, it's like real, I don't know if you can tell, but it's very, 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 very liquidy where it has definitely gone off. I mean, I could shake it 
and stir it around but then next thing I know it's all separated again so I'm just going to get rid of this. This was an item one that I bought on clearance one day when I was in Sephora probably when I first started doing YouTube which was like three years ago so it was probably old to begin with oh yeah definitely smells very chemically so we're getting rid of that and I have a liquid eyeliner waterproof eyeliner pen from elf in the color it's some kind of a purple color I can't tell the color this is no more waterproof than water <laughs> I think water would stay on better than this does. That's the color of it. So, and it's just a little pen tip, felt tip. Um, applicator, plus it's bent over. It's just not very sturdy. It just didn't care for it. I mean, I know it was only like $3, but still, $3 is $3 if it's a bad product. It's going in the trash. And then another item here, this is the um, Jordana Modern Matte Lipstick in Matte Classy. Um, it's just one that I just don't reach for, I don't use, and I'm just going to go ahead and toss it out. It still smells good, it doesn't smell bad, but... I don't have anybody. My daughter, my daughter might take that. You know, I might give that to her. She might wear it. I don't know. She doesn't wear wear a lot of lipsticks. Okay, now then, we're gonna get to some products that I have actually had for years. I'm talking about years and years and years and years. Um, this was the time frame when I would actually buy makeup when I needed makeup, like I was out, and then would go and buy an eyeshadow or whatever the case may be and then would use it and then run out and go buy it again <laughs> not like now where I have I, I don't think I would ever I, matter of fact I know I wouldn't I would never finish any of all of my makeup ever in my lifetime but anyway so I have these little guys from Lancome and I don't even think they even carry or sell this packaging anymore but you would buy a compact and then you would buy pick the shadows that you wanted to go in it and so that's what it looks like and I used up one completely it was the same no it was not the same colors it was mauve luster and rose something I can't read it it's like really faded out but anyway so that was during the day when I would actually use up hip pan product without any problem. And then this one right here, because I used up this color so quickly, I purchased two more and put just into this compact and they were the mauve luster. And that's what it looks like. So I used up one and then a partial of one. I was hitting pan on it before I quit using it. So going to be getting rid of those. Um, they've just been sitting here. They've been moved twice. So I need to get rid of them. I'll do a little swatch. I don't even know if these colors are even still available with Lancome. I don't know. I haven't bought anything from Lancome in a long time. But there you go. That's what my eye, like, eye look used to be every single day for ever. <laughs> so I had those. And then another product again that used consistently and this was in a gift with purchase from Clinique and this was the Sugar Sugar and Rose Wine Duo. Let me show you. And used up the Sugar Sugar. Completely gone and this little compact. I mean it's well it's broke and <laughs> seen better days so getting rid of that. And have a um, compact or eyeshadow quad from Estee Lauder. This was in the color Amber Honey. And again, used up quite a bit of colors on it. This one's completely gone. This one I hit pan on. And these were definitely almost hitting pan on. I've had these over 10 years. And they're old. There's just not that much color pigmentation with them anymore. I don't know if they were always like that, 
or if they faded out. But anyway, I'm going to get rid of that. Another product from Estee Lauder, and this was in, is it a gift with purchase or I think it was a purchase with purchase. Anyway, and I used up quite a bit of it. All one color is completely gone, a little purple. Not too much on the blush, but definitely the eyeshadows. Very well used. I mean, that is what happens when you don't have a whole lot of makeup to work through. Another Clinique item. This is a single eyeshadow in the lot of li lot of lilac. And hit pan on it before I am. Um, moved on to different shadows for some reason again it's just a really light light color right there so and a couple more just a few more things and then that is it these are from smashbox and these were in a kit that i'm sure i purchased from qvc and then it was like a um a um auto delivery so every few months you got a new kit with new colors and that one is used up quite a bit and I know you can't get these anymore at all okay and the last item I have is another Smashbox little quad here and you can see I hit pan on this one and Actually, to be honest with you, I'm really surprised that I hit pan on this because at the time, I hardly ever wore any other color like browns or blues or grays. The only colors I wore were in this color wheel here, those purples that you see are, that are gone. That was pretty much all I wore was just some kind of a purple eyeshadow. I thought the browns didn't look good on me, so... I'm really surprised to see that I actually hit pan on that one color so that's surprising anyway so those are some of the items that I'm just going to be throwing out getting rid of they've been with me for a very long time and it's just time to let go anyway thank you so much for joining me I hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you in the next video